I'm Dominic Stevens. welcome to our monthly Agri Update, which this month will focus very much on dairy. Global dairy trade auction prices are dropping away sharply at the moment, they're down 7.3% over the past month. That's important because higher volumes are hitting the auction platform at the moment, and if you uh, sell a higher volume of milk at these lower prices, it has an outsized effect on the end of year payment that goes to farmers. Fonterra and other processors have been forecasting very high farm gate milk prices this season. Fonterra's forecast was $7, which really perplexed us when it came out, because our own forecast is $6.40. Our long-held view has been that global dairy pr prices would drop away this season, partly due to a slowdown in China's economy, and partly due to increased supply out of the likes of Europe. I think a China slowdown is part of the story, it's creating a bit of a downdraft in milk prices and the prices for other commodities, but it's not the whole story. We've also got signs of a decent season emerging in New Zealand, which is creating uh, expectations of decent supply from the world's biggest exporter. And the other thing going on, of course, is the global trade wars. US tariffs on a range of products have just actually come into force. Meanwhile, Mexico, Canada and China have all put tariffs on US dairy exports. Now you might think that China's tariffs will create an opportunity for New Zealand to export into China, but you've got to also remember that those US exporters have got to land their products somewhere in the global market now. If you think globally, well what's going on is that some consumers somewhere are paying higher prices due to the tariffs, that'll reduce consumer demand a bit. Meanwhile, at least in the short run, global dairy supply hasn't changed at all. That should add up to slightly lower prices, at least in the short run. Okay, so trade wars and a bit of a China slowdown are producing a bit of a downdraft in commodity prices, which is bad news for farmers. Well, the good news, of course, is that the New Zealand dollar is dropping away very sharply, which should backstop returns when measured in New Zealand dollar terms. Talk to you next month.